Hello and thank you for joining me for Move Your Body and Speak English. We are going to look at homonyms. It's a long word. Homonyms. Say that with me. Homonyms. So let's look at how you spell that word first. Homonyms. Homonyms. And now, what's, what does that mean, homonyms? Well, homonyms are words that, that sound exactly the same. So when you say the words, they're exactly the same. There's no difference in the sound. However, there's a, a difference in, in the meaning of the words and how we spell the words. So homonyms are words that sound the same but they have different meanings. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have a rose, a red rose. Here we have rows of flowers. We have vertical rows of flowers and horizontal rows of flowers. And how we spell the word rows, rows, rows of flowers. We spell it this way, rows of flowers. Here's a rose, a single rose. And here we have rows of flowers. I just placed the little the little pebbles or the small rocks in a row. Here we have a row of rocks or pebbles. Blue candle, red candle, green candle, and a yellow candle. Here we have a row of tiny candles. A row of tiny candles, horizontally placed. I can also place them vertically. So now we have a row of vertically placed candles, tiny candles. Let's have a look at some other examples. Looks like a road, a country road. Looks like a horse. Looks like a boy riding a horse. That boy rode his horse every day last summer. Last summer he rode his horse every day. So this country road country road The boy who rode his horse every day last summer, he rode his horse. So they sound the same but have different meanings and different spellings. And here's our last example of homonyms. There's a limb and here's a tail. Looks like a book. And in the book is written a tail. 
It says Tales for Children. So how do you spell tail? In this case, we spell it like that. In this case, we spell it like that. Tail and tail. It's a story. And this is the tail of a dog. The dog's tail. He looks like he's wagging the tail. Let's do a little movement. But before we do that, it would be good if you could grab some material or a, a scarf. And if you could have find three balls in the house, and that would be good too, because we're going to use those. So let's begin with our, our scarf. We're going to place our scarf on our sacrum. Here's the sacrum. And we're going to place the scarf on the sacrum. And we're going to pretend it's our tail and we're going to wag our tail. Easy, soft, wagging. You can bring your feet a little bit apart, make space between your feet and legs as you wag. Knees are soft, and then you can bring them in a little bit as you wag. And bring them out. And then in the, a little bit again. And now you can be a cat chasing its tail. So we're going to chase the tail and chase the tail and again chase the tail and again one more time okay and now Let's take our tail and bring it up and around and bring it up and around, up and down, up and down. Let's do that again. And last time. And then just bring your legs together and wag a little bit faster, a little bit faster until your whole body is wagging. And then slow it down and come to a stop. Drop our tail, open up our legs and become the horse. And now we're the rider and we're Riding on the horse, slow motion riding. That boy rode his horse every day last summer. And we're pretending to ride a horse right now. Last time. And now, Let's get our three balls and place them in a row. So now we have a row of three balls and we're going to step into the middle in between the balls. And again, so we step into the empty space between the balls that are placed in a row, a horizontal row. And let's bring our arm out as we do that. And the other arm. And last time.
and back the other way. And now let's take a walk along the country road, looking at the beautiful scenery. And we'll see you next time. Bye.